Happy New Year, everyone. I cannot believe it's 2023. I feel like this year went by so fast, and the older I get, the faster time goes. I decided to combine my December rewards packing video with Christmas and some more behind the scenes in my life. This December rewards for Patreon was probably one of my favorite themes and it has this kind of self-love and self-care theme. I have the little ghost that says you got this boo and it's a little cheerleader with pom-poms and my other favorite sticker is the potato that says you don't have to do more to be more and I felt like this was the perfect message to start the new year with. My parents put so much emphasis on your self-worth being associated to how productive you are. So over the past few years, I've been working on unlearning that belief and working on myself and not trying to do everything under the sun and having really jam-packed busy days make me feel fulfilled because that's really not how self-worth and productivity work. Over time, I found out that a lot of people feel this way, so I wanted a silly and cute reminder to ourselves through these stickers that it's okay to not do anything for the day, that rest is still productive, and that our self-worth has nothing to do with how much stuff we do day to day. Recently, I started to have a lot more issues with my sticky note manufacturer and I realized that the smaller batches definitely print better than the larger ones and a fellow artist actually shared with me that they found out that larger batches are printed differently, which is why all my larger batches have been printing to be very fuzzy and the clarity is always not as nice, so I had to print these two or three times to get it right and on the third try I decided to split up the order into two smaller batches so that they would print better and they did so I was so grateful. I think I was really feeling the color yellow this month and it might be because it's been so cold and depressing lately. I'm in Georgia in the US and it doesn't really get that cold during the winter. I'd say January is our coldest month and it was really shocking to have a week of 11 degree weather, me wearing three layers of pants and not being able to walk my dog for several days because I was concerned that her paws were going to get injured. So I feel like I unconsciously gravitated towards all these really sunset warm colors so that we could at least experience some warmth through the art. One of you guys mentioned on Patreon that you already bought a picture frame for the You Got This Boo art print and that made me smile. It was pretty funny because my manufacturer also messed up this order and sent me someone's shoe store order instead of my flyers, so I had to wait for these to arrive later too. I feel like December was just a hot mess between the holidays and the factory that prints all my stuff. 
Fortunately, all of the replacement orders arrived in good time, so I was able to send everything out before the end of Christmas week. I have some mail to send out, and it says that the post is open on Christmas Eve, so these are mostly Patreon, Sticker and Stationery Club mail. Very excited to send it out. Oh my gosh, I really filled it up. I'm also wearing three layers of pants right now, and just checking the mail makes my hands and my face go numb. It's so cold. I discovered that Safi is a complete and total brat and only wants to play fetch if I have new toys. <laughs> so I got her this Grinch set. Who has? Yes! You ready to go get it? Ready? Go! <laughs> She's just gonna want to take it in a corner and chew it. <laughs> I knew you were gonna do this, Safi. No, we're getting exercise in. <laughs> ready? Go get it. <laughs> We're going to make kimbap, eggs, and all the works. The crab meat, the carrots, as well as the fish cake, and some purgulgi. Got the rice, and we're putting very little rice so that we can put a lot of other things in it. I forgot to even show these. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff that's going to go into this one roll. Oh my gosh, that's massive. These are sesame leaves, and we like to lay them out as a little bedding, and then we put tuna inside. And it's just canned tuna, but we put it in with mayo and some salt and pepper for some extra flavor, and it's really, really good. Yummy. Fold them in half, we're tucking them in, into bed. Mm -hmm. Fish cake. Some carrots that we sauteed a little bit to soften them up. And they taste a lot sweeter once they get sauteed. And some olive oil, so I love that. And some crab meat. Red cucumbers. How in the world is this going to close? I don't know. This is going to be a fat roll. I'm kind of concerned. <laughs> and this is a pickled radish called tanmuji. Then we're gonna see if it rolls. Okay, hold on, honey. Gosh, well, here it goes. Here it goes. Okay. Oh my goodness. I don't wanna press too hard, but at the same time. Yeah, roll that kimbap. Okay, and then we have to roll the rest. Oh, I like to put a little bit of seaweed, but not seaweed. That's what we do as a little glue to bind the end piece. <laughs> it okay. works. Oopsie. And then we're going to roll it one more time to seal in the deal. I feel like sesame oil is like the back of Korean cooking. It's in everything. Oh yeah, <laughs> lather that baby. So we are playing disc golf. Oh, <laughs> I decided to record you and I hit the tree, of course. Ooh. Let's see how close we landed. Oh, yours is pretty close. I thought mine landed around here and I was really excited. Where is mine? Oh yay, it was close! Good old Umbreon.
so cute. We put it on the bag. I made this recap video of 2022 for TikTok and I wanted to end this video on this note. I honestly can't believe that I was able to quit my job to do art full time and to have this kind of opportunity. Thank you so so much for your support. I'm excited to create more things with you guys in 2023. Happy New Year!